Loch Shiel is to the west of Fort William in the west of Scotland. Paddleboarding at the Glenfinnan Monument has been on my supper list for ages. Fortunately, there is a new car park right next to the River Finnan, and with a couple of portages over rocks, you can paddle out to Loch Shiel. Just uh, paddling here at the Glenfinnan Memorial and also where the Glenfinnan Viaduct is. Really lovely wee spot here. Um, quite a few islands about us which is really cool for having a little bit of an explore it looks almost like a bit of a wetland lots of birds and things like that we've gone in a bit late again today so it's pretty windy coming right the way up the lock there however the islands are providing a wee bit of relief from the wind so we've had a nice little peaceful spot here On the 19th of August 1745, Prince Charles Edward Stuart rode up Loch Shiel towards the tiny hamlet of Glenfinnan with a small band of his most loyal supporters. He had called on clan chiefs to muster their men and join him here for a daring quest to restore the Stuarts to the British throne. When he arrived at Glenfinnan there was barely a soul to be seen, but in late afternoon the Song of the Pipes coming over the hill signalled the arrival of the first 1,200 clansmen who pledged their allegiance to Bonnie Prince Charlie that day before setting off to start their campaign. The gathering of clans and raising of the Royal Standard at Glenfinnan that summer was a moment of hope and enthusiasm for many. This day led to the events which ended with the Battle of Culloden the following year. It's a very atmospheric area and you sort of get a feel for what it must have been like. I don't know if it was like a rainy, uh, stormy grey sort of a day and it was like a wee rowboat coming ashore. but. Yeah, I can imagine what a sense of achievement it would have been to, to make it all the way up this lock. It's actually quite a long lock. To the east of the monument is the Callop River, where we were just about to paddle when we heard the whistle of the Jacobite Express. I can see it nearly. We quickly paddled back just in time to watch the train pass over the viaduct from our paddle boards. How cool is that?
As the rain started to come down and soak us through, we headed back up the River Finnan to Harmony after what has to be the best sup of the trip so far. I'm really glad we went out for that. Even though it's raining now, it's, that, was, uh, that was an epic battle. And to have the Harry Potter Jacobite Express steam train go past in the background was just the icing on the cake. And now, and now we're reenacting Body Prince Charlie landing at the Glenfinnan Monument. We are. <laughs> And now it's time for a cup of tea, or perhaps a, a uh, wee whiskey. For more information on paddleboarding at this location, check out our blog which includes specifics on directions, parking, weather conditions and water entry points, along with information on water temperature where available. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it and found it helpful, please support us by liking, subscribing, clicking notification and sharing with your paddleboarding mates. While you're here, check out some of our other videos. See you next time.